Hello and welcome to Gefet in the Daf. I'm Yael Shimoni, bringing to you a translation and a, with a bit of a variation on the Shir of Rabbi Chana Godinger Dreyfus at the beginning of Masachet Tubot from Daf Bet till Daf Hey and also forward. So today we're going to ask why and how do you get married? Because the question that we have in the Mishnah is when and how. And why will be something that we'll derive from our discussion through what Tosfot will bring to us and also the next Daphim and Amasechta from Daf Bet till Daf Hay. And before I begin, I just uh, want to say that this sugya and the Mishnah in the beginning is not easy uh, to hear uh, for women and men together. And since we're not learning Biyun, we cannot address this directly. We will try to give a little bit of, of address to this, but definitely uh, if you feel a stomach ache or a heartache, uh, that is another good reason why you should try to learn this more in depth, even though maybe you don't have time now, but Be'ezrat Hashem, don't keep your questions to yourself, but realize that if you have questions, you need more time to deal with them. And still, I hope that what we'll learn today can start to give some kind of, uh, of an understanding and another perspective on the beginning of the Gemara. So let's begin with the Mishnah. The Mishnah uh, says something very surprising, that there is a specific day in the week that you have to marry, and it depends if you are a virgin or not. So the Mishnah Ketubot begins and says, Betula, a virgin, miset uh, A virgin gets married on the fourth day, on Wednesday. Now, this is surprising because, you know, uh, many of you have gotten married, have been at weddings, and we have weddings in many days of the week. The weddings on Sunday, the weddings on, on Friday, um, Monday. So, 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 so what's this? We will get to that, Bezvat Hashem, at the end of our short year today. So I'm continuing, Almana, which means uh, a woman that has already been married, uh, on, Friday, on uh, Thursday. And again, it's also surprising. I, I, I've been to many weddings in many days. Okay, continuing. Why? Why do we have a specific day? Because It says the Mishnah, we are talking about the Ayarot, okay? Not the cities. In the city, you have Beitin sitting every day. But, but in small towns, they're only twice a week uh, Beitin. So in small towns, uh, you have a problem. What's the problem? Wow. Okay. This is where it really hurts our stomach and our heart because what's written here in the Mishnah that a wedding can turn into a baiting. How could that be? Uh, the husband sees in the night that the woman is not a betula. Then he goes to baiting. He goes to bathing. That's why you have to have uh, the virgin marry on Wednesday. Why is he going to bathing? What's the problem? Let's say she's not a virgin. Is that a reason to go to bathing? So we will see further on why. And of course, this is very, very disturbing and not easy to understand. So we have a few questions on the Mishnah. First of all, we see that the Mishnah had two dinim, one about a virgin, another about a woman who has already been married. But the, it sounds as if the Mishnah is giving only an explanation to the first dinim, only uh, about the marriage on Wednesday. So what about the marriage on Thursday? There is no explanation. That's a question in the Mishnah, which is a textual question. Another question that we have is, are we talking only about cities, uh, uh, about towns and not about cities? Because the Mishnah seems to talk about everybody. Uh, but it seems that she's talking only about a specific geographical place. And of course, another question is, what is this Tanat Betulim? And why should a wedding turn into a baiting? And that's a question in many, 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 uh, uh, many parts of us are asking that question. Okay, so with all these questions, let's go forward to the Gemara and see what happens. So the Gemara uh, says, Ela ihi itmar hachi itmar, Amar of Yehuda, Amar Shmuel, Mipnei ma amru betula niset liyom arvi'i, Shim ayalo tenat betuli maya mashkim lebeitin, Betinase beechad beshabat, Shim ayalo tenat betuli maya mashkim lebeitin, Shakdu chachamim al takanad not Yisrael, Shia torach besuda shlosha amim, 
אחד בשבת ושני בשבת ושלישי בשבת וברביעי קונצה. אוקיי, אז הגמרא is answering a question that we did not ask. Let's go back to the Mishnah. The Mishnah said that twice a week in the small towns you have Beit Din sitting on Monday and on Thursday. So if that's the case, how did we reach Wednesday? We should have Sunday as a good option. Like Sunday, if there's a Tana Petulim, go to Beit Din on Monday. Wednesday, if there's a Tana Petulim, go to, to Beit Din on, uh, on uh, Thursday. So this is a question we didn't ask. That's a question that the Gemara asks. And because of that question, we have a rewriting uh, or a re-reading of the Mishnah by Shmuel. Okay, let's look at this rereading and see maybe in the question and answer of the Gemara, we also have a beginning of a question and of answers to the other questions that we ask. So, says Shmuel, why are we saying Wednesday? Why not Sunday? And says Shmuel, I'll tell you why. There is another Dean. The other Dean is called Shakdu. And if you see, Uh, on the side of the Gemara, we'll tell you that this din is from the Tosefta, and it's very interesting to look at the Tosefta here and, and, and see what happens there, but we won't do this now. Again, we're not doing serious Iyun, we're just tasting a bit of Iyun. So, says uh, Shmuel, you should read this Mishnah with the Tosefta, and then you will see that there is another reason why not to marry on Sunday. So we have two problems. Not only the problem of Tanah Beturim, we have a different problem. And that problem says that you marry on Wednesday. Shakdu chachamim al takanat not Yisrael shiye torach besuda shlosha yamim, chad b'shabat v'shini b'shabat v'shlishi b'shabat v'barevi'i konsa. So says Shmuel, we want to make sure that there are at least three days of preparing the wedding. So the wedding will be a serious wedding, a big simcha. So that's why we can't use Sunday, because Sunday doesn't have three days in advance, because you have before Friday and Shabbos, and Thursday you're busy with Shabbos, you, you won't prepare a serious wedding. So that's why you are postponing this wedding to the end of the week, and not to the beginning of the week. Okay, um, let's move on to Tosfot. But, but before we move on to Tosfot, I just want to say, as far as my heart and my stomach lies, this explanation of why I should postpone the wedding to the end of the week is much easier to handle. I mean, we, we can appreciate the fact that, uh, that we want to have people prepare weddings seriously, but I still have a question, what, what happens if, if the couple decides that they don't want to take uh, all this bother and want to have a small wedding? Uh, is, is this a rule that they cannot change their date? Uh, can't they marry on Sunday? So, so that's a new question that I have. But of course, this question is not so hard and, and, and painful as the question I had before when I thought that all of the reason you know, we chose a date is because of Tanat Betulim and because at every wedding is actually a very scary moment that we think that we might end in Beitin the next morning. Okay, so we feel a little better. Uh, but now let's go to Toso because Toso will add another explanation into this whole discussion. Says Tosfot, לא באי לשינוי הדניסת ברביעי כדי שתיבהל בחמישי, משום ברכה שנאמרה בו לדגים כדי ברינה לקמן. ועוד, למה ליטעם דשקדו טיפוק להם משום ברכה. Tosfot sends us to דף ה. And if we go to דף ה, we see a totally different explanation why you get married on, on Wednesday and on Thursday. Okay, so, so let's first read Daf Hay, and then we'll go back to, to what Tosfot is asking. So here in Daf Hay, the Gemara asks, Ibaya lehu, betula niset barevi'i v'nivelet barevi'i v'lo chayshina leikure daita. Odima betula niset barevi'i v'nivelet b'chamishi, lechayshina leikure daita. Says the Gemara, when the Mishnah said that you have to marry on Wednesday, does it mean that you also have to have intercourse on Wednesday? Why? Because... If Tanat Betulim is the real reason and the main reason and the only reason that you want to get married uh, a day before you go to Beit Din, so you also have to, uh, to have intercourse before you go to Beit Din because only then you can tell if there's a problem. So do we tell them that it has to happen on Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday I mean, the, the, the night of Wednesday or the Thursday? What's the question? Here, the Gemara says, What's a Kure Daita? If a man discovers there's a problem 
and his wife is not really a virgin. Maybe, says the Gemara, he won't think it's such a big deal. He'll wait, if he'll have to wait a day, he'll calm down and he won't go to Beitin. Are we unhappy with that? So, wow, this passage in the Gemara is a real, real, real uh, hard passage to read. There are many things here that are problematic. Why are is the Mishnah and the Gemara discussing when also do the couple have to have intercourse? Is, is that also something that, that the Halacha will tell us what to do? That's really hard. For people today, it sounds very, very, very far. That's one. And two, um, what, what's this Ikura Daita business? Maybe we are interested uh, that the man will not take it so seriously. So what? So what? So, so let's say she's, she's not a virgin. What's the whole big deal? And, and, and do we have to have him really, really, really angry and infuriated? Many things here in, in this passage are hard. But let's see what the answer of the Gemara is. Tashma, says the Gemara. The Tani Bar Kapara, Betula Niset Barevi'i, Veni Veled Bachamishi, Ho'il Venemra Lo Bachal Edagim. Almana Niset Bachamishi, Veni Veled Bachishi, הואיל ונאמרה בו ברכה לאדם, טעמה משום ברכה, אבל משום מקורי דייתא לא חי שינן. This is a very interesting Gemara. First of all, the Gemara brings us another reason, a whole new reason, not the reason of the Mishnah, and not the reasoning of Shmuel that brought to the Sefta, but the third reason, from Bar Kapara. Bar Kapara is bringing a Baraita, Tanei Bar Kapara, and he says the reason that a virgin gets married on Wednesday and has the first intercourse on Thursday is because on Wednesday there was a bracha for the fish and an almana gets married on Thursday and has intercourse on Friday because then is the bracha so here Bar Kaparai is saying the reason why we choose the date is not because we're afraid we're going to go to Beitin and it's not because we wanted people preparing a lot for the wedding. It's because we are thinking of the future family. And that's why we choose these days, because twice in the Bria was the bracha of Purvu. And that's why we split between these two days, the Betula and the Almana. So, of course, Bar Kapara also raises many questions. If there are two days of Purvu, why not choose either uh, uh, Thursday or Friday, uh, uh, which means Wednesday or Thursday, why do you decide that the Betula is Afghan Wednesday and the Almana is Afghan Thursday? We don't understand that in Bar Kapara. That's one question. Okay. Another question is, yeah, you get married only because you think about family. Pool, vu, that's the main reason. What happens if a couple does not have children? That means it's a problem. So so also we're, we're uneasy, but again, I don't think it's the same uneasiness that we had in the Mishnah. Okay, so here we're already perplexed because we have the Mishnah, and we have the Tosefta, and now we have Bar Kapara. So it's three different reasons why you get married on Wednesday and on Thursday. And finally, we find out what's the story with Thursday. And actually, Thursday sounds like a very good day to marry because on Friday, that's the day that the people, man, was blessed with Puvu. So what do we make of all of this? I can hear in the Gemara and see also what the Gemara does with this. The Gemara says, the Gemara takes Bar Kapara and proves from Bar Kapara that we're not afraid that the husband will uh, not go to Beitim. We're not choshesh likure daita. This is also a very surprising uh, move of the Gemara. But again, uh, this is a little too much for us now. So let's go back to Tosfot and see again what Tosfot asks. Tosfot, this is Tosfot on the first daf. And the daf that we saw the Mishnah, and we saw Shmuel, and Tosfot asked, wait, 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 in that, hey, we have another explanation. Why didn't Shmuel give this explanation? Why didn't Shmuel quote Bar Kapara? Another question asked Tosfot, why do I need two reasons? If I have the bracha, I don't need to have this idea that I need to prepare the surah. So we see in Tosfot two questions. One, a textual question. If we have another explanation, why not use that explanation? And another is Tosfot thinks that the bracha is a better explanation for postponing the time of the wedding than the explanation of preparing it for three days. Uh, and he thinks if we have that explanation, I would have chosen that explanation because it works better. 
So we have two questions that the Gemara uh, that the Tosfot is asking. He's asking a textual question. Why do we have two explanations? And then he's also asking, why not choose the more beautiful explanation, the explanation of the Baruch? So let's see Ri's answer to the Tosfot's question. Okay, so what does the Ri say? The Ri says two things that are very uh, important to us, and he's actually taking these three explanations, the Mishnah and Shmuel and Bar Kapara, and puts them together on a map. Okay, so let's see the map that uh, Ri gave us. He said, A, in the Mishnah you have Tanat Betulim, but you also have Shaktu and you also have Bracha. Each one of these is doing something else and that's why you need the three of them. Tanat Betulim is the original Deen in the Mishnah and that is not enough to understand why are we postponing to the end of the week. That's why you must have another explanation. And then you have two explanations. You thought originally that the bracha of Puru, that's the best explanation, tells the V no. Shakdu, if you don't prepare your wedding three days and you did not uh, decide on it on both sides, you decided one side only, or you're not preparing a wedding for three days, then you're an avaryan. If you miss uh, Thursday and uh, Friday because of all kinds of reasons, that's just an Eitzatova. The bracha is just an Eitzatova. Shakdu is a more serious thing. And if you don't do that, that's Avaryana. And says the Ri, also that explains why the Gemara says that it's only an Eitzatova because it says that that's a way to understand you're not Hoshesh. The Kuridaita. That means that, that, that it's only an Eitzatova. So this is what we saw in Tosfot. The Tosfot told us that when we read this Mishnah, we have to understand this is not the only reason why you get married on Wednesday. It's not only the dark reason, the scary reason. There are also two beautiful reasons. And in these two beautiful reasons, what we thought that would be the most important one, Puvu, the Bracha, is only an Eitzatova. And the most important thing Turns out to be Shakudu. Okay, so now let's try to analyze this and we'll see something very interesting. Each one of these reasons, we can see as a reason why a couple gets married. The issue of virginity has to do with sex and sexual intercourse, and it has to do with a physical connection between the husband and the wife. That's Tanat Betulim. Is that the most important thing here? We saw not exactly because we have two other reasons why we get married. We have Pruvu, which is the Bracha, that's the family. That's another reason to get married because you wanna have children. And that we saw was only an Eitzah Tova. But a third reason was Shaktu. What is Shaktu? So Rabbi Chana is offering us to understand Shaktu as the romantic connection between uh, two people. That's the Simcha of the wedding. That's saying this is a special day. It means we love each other. It means that, that, that we take care of each other. That's romance. And what's interesting in what says the Ri is that the romance here is stronger than the children. And the romance here is also the reason why we have to be on Wednesday and we can't stay on Sunday. So in many reasons, the romance here won over other reasons that people get married. So we see three different reasons why people get married, the physical connection, the family connection, and romance. And suddenly romance gets a very, very strong emphasis in what Tosfot said. I wanna show another emphasis here because I'm moving very much forward. Aruch HaShulchan answers the very basic question that I had in the beginning. Today, we get married every day of the week. There's absolutely no problem. So we see that the, the, the physical connection and the whole issue of Tanah Bitulim is something that we don't take into consideration. How did that happen? So let's read Abu Shulchan quickly. 
גוך השולחן, סימן ס"ד, סעיף ו', סז, שנו חכמים במשנה, הרי יש כתובות, בתולה נישאת ליום הרביעי, אלמנה ליום החמישי, והטעם בבתולה, מפני שבית דין יושבים בשני וחמישי, לכן נישאת רביעי ונבהלת בלילה, ואם לא יימצא לבתולי, נשכין לבית דין, אולי יתברר שזה ימצא תחתיו אחר הרוסין, ואסורה לו, אם יימשך אחר הבילה יום או יומיים, תקרר את דעתו ולא יבוא לבית דין ויצא מזה מכשול. ולכן אמרו בגמרא, זה במקום שבית דין יושבים בכל יום, אישה נישאת בכל יום. וכן אצלנו זה לא שייך כלל טענת בתולים לעניין איסור, כיוון שהקידושים והנישואים כאחד גם כן נישאת בכל יום. But the three day continues over Chashulchan is something that we really try to work with. So here we see that today the whole issue of טענת בתולים is irrelevant and that also proves that טענת בתולים is not a question whether or not a woman is a virgin or not a virgin. The issue is a very different issue, it's the issue of Isur, which you will see in Daf Teh Bezvat Hashem at the end of this week. So I'm summing up what we saw today. We saw the first Mishnah and Shmuel on the Mishnah that talked to us about Shaktu, and then we saw Tosfot that sent us to Daf Hey, and we saw three different reasons why people get married, and we analyzed them, and we saw that it is very interesting that the strongest reason that remains is romance more than anything else. So take care and good luck with this new Masechta. 